Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shubham. Welcome back to my channel. So, uh, you must have come across different kind of different kinds of skull appearances uh, throughout your uh, medicine topics or the pathology topics. So, I have just decided to collect them at one place so that we can, you know, discuss them at one place over here. So, as we know that uh, they are asking these kind of skull appearances in several kind of exams. So, let's talk about them one by one. So, the very first image which you can see right now on your screen that is. Uh, the very famous one that is having the raindrop pigmentation so this particular appearance which you can see right now this is the raindrop pigmentation uh, let me just show these kind of raindrop pigmentation and you just need to tell me what kind of disease you will think of if you are seeing these kind of raindrop pigmentation in the skull so yeah so the disease will be the multiple myeloma so usually they are giving the older age uh, in the MCQ, let's say a 62 year old male pre male patient presenting with this and that complaint and they will be giving this kind of uh, skull appearance. So what do you think of in that particular scenario? So the answer should be the multiple myeloma in that particular case, right? So this should be the multiple myeloma having very special kind of appearance that is the raindrop pigmentation or raindrop lytic lesions that is also one of the appearance which you can see over here so raindrop pigmentation or raindrop lytic lesions might also written in the mcq right moving on to the next appearance uh, this is also very uh, popular one second one this one you can see over here that uh, the appearance is can be compared to the cotton or cotton wool you can say so this appearance can be compared with the cotton wool so very popularly they call it as cotton wool appearance over here so this second skull will be the cotton wool appearance and this cotton wool appearance is very popularly seen in the which particular disease that is the Paget's disease right so you must have heard about this Paget's disease in the medicine also in the orthopedics as well so this is a Paget's disease and uh, here we are seeing a special kind of appearance in the skull that is a cotton wool appearance so that is also very important and very frequently asked in the uh, several different mcqs right several different exams third one which you can see right now on your screen that is having special kind of appearance of the skull and this is compared with the salt and pepper appearance as you can see like somebody uh, have spring sprinkled the salt or pepper on the skull that kind of uh, appearance is seen over here right now so this is the salt and pepper appearance in a simple manner in a simple words so salt and pepper appearance and uh, this salt and pepper appearance is very commonly seen in which particular disease that is the hyperparathyroidism okay so the disease over here would be the hyperparathyroidism hyperparathyroidism we usually read this in pathology as well in the orthopedics as well and uh, in the medicine as well so this is the hyperparathyroidism because it is covered in uh, several different uh, subjects that's why it is very important to uh, remember them that's why uh, the questions are actually covered very frequently from these things uh, fourth one which you can see is skull over here for in the fourth skull you can see a very uh, unique patch over here right as you can see a very unique patch you can see over here and this is seen in the eosinophilic granuloma okay this is seen in eosinophilic granuloma yeah the different kind of name eosinophilic granuloma this is also called as different kind of name yeah histiocytosis x right histiocytosis x fine so this particular patch you can see over here that can be seen over here right now <clears throat> the last one but not the least here you can see in this particular skull this is the fifth one here you can see that the skull is there and uh, it is looking like the hair is actually pointing outwards on this particular surface so this is the hair on and appearance hair on and appearance or in some book you might see that as crew cut skull okay crew cut skull this is actually seen in which particular disease it is seen in the hemolytic diseases right hemolytic diseases uh, now as you know that what kind of hemolytic disease we are studying 
for example in the hemolytic diseases we are actually talking about let's say sickle cell anemia right sickle cell anemia or thalassemia sometimes they might confuse you actually uh, how they can confuse you they will be giving this kind of particular image and they might not give the hemolytic disease as an option they they might give you sickle cell anemia as an option or they might give you the thalassemia as an option so obviously you need to think about that particular whichever option is given you can mark that as that as an answer right so these are different kind of skull appearances uh, very important very easy at the same time but yes uh, here and there you might see these kind of uh, images in your competitive examinations right so thank you so much for joining this session i will see you in the next one thank you